Welcome to Team Perry's Step Out of Line podcast, featuring co-hosts Perry and Lori Finkelstein. Together, they explore, meet, and share inspirational stories with guests who have made a positive impact in today's world. This podcast resonates with our hope to make this world a better place one step at a time through love, acceptance, and uplifting conversations. Hudson Peralta, who is somebody who we have been watching for a bit on Instagram, and we admire your humor, we admire your tenacity, and your courage, and just the way you approach life. Thank you. You'll find by speaking with Perry that the two of you are pretty similar in um, what happened when you were younger, what doctors said you would do and wouldn't do, and then what you've done with your life and how you're a father, a husband, a baseball coach, an actor, a motivational speaker. Um, I see you graphic design and you seem to have like a wonderfully full, amazing life. So we want to hear about it. And we also want to hear about what you're doing during Corona and how you're handling that. And if you have any, I don't know, are you homeschooling your kids, that kind of thing. So um, why don't you start, if you don't mind, by telling us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm, I'm, my name is Ryan Hudson Peralta. I'm 40 years old. I'm, uh, like you said, I'm a father. Uh, both of my kids are, are grown up, so no homeschooling for them. Oh, wow. uh, my daughter, she's 25 and my son is 18, but they're, thankfully they're both here with, a uh, in the house with us. So, um, you know, I mean, they're the things I, I'm most proud of in my life. You know, I do motivational speaking. I do some comedy. I done, I've done some acting. Um, I'm a full-time uh, user interface designer and leader of design at uh, Rocket Mortgage and Quicken Loans. Mm-hmm. And um, so, so I'm still working right now, thankfully. And I, so, I mean, that's pretty much takes up most of my time throughout the week. Um, when I was, when I was younger, as you mentioned, you know, doctors said that uh, I wouldn't be able to do any of the things I do today. They said I would never have a family or have a regular wheelchair or go to a regular school. They, they said I would never do any of those things. And um you know, every day I set out to uh, prove them wrong, and, and I've been doing it so far so good. So when you were younger, I know doctors said the same to Perry, and they said, look, don't even try doing therapy. It's going to be a waste on her. Um, and we, my husband and I went around to different doctors until we found doctors who said, just maximize her potential. You don't know what's going to be and what she can accomplish. And that's how she's lived her life, and she's got surpassed even what we ever thought she could, could do. Um, I know you probably read about Perry that she's completed nine marathons um, in the Miami Marathon. She started just by taking one step over the finish line, and I would push it to that point. And now she's up to walking at least like 45 minutes to an hour before we get over the finish line. And what she's accomplished is incredible. So That's I know um, you use you use uh, the negative energy that. Mm-hmm maybe you or your family or you had when you were little that said you're not going to do it and you used it and spun it around. I think Perry's done the same thing. Um, have you taught your kids? I'm sure your kids have seen just by, you know, the life that you've led. Do your kids talk to you about what it has been on them? Like what kind of influence it has been on them as well in their life? Um, recently, um, this uh, channel on YouTube called Truly, they did a video about me. And um, they interviewed my kids and like just listening to them talk about their experience, you know, me being their dad, it was just, it was like something I, I didn't get to hear before. So it was, it was amazing. Um, the, the, the funny thing is like my kids are, are, are like the best versions of my wife and I, <laughs> and um, like my wife's quieter and, and I'm louder and, and both of them, I just like, I don't know. I, I, we just got really lucky. They're both just amazing kids. And the things that they do um, surprise me all the time. Like my daughter helping, you know, working in nonprofits and, and helping people. And my son, he goes out of his way to help, help people all the time. And it's just like, I'm, I'm just, like I said, the things I'm most proud of in my life are my two kids. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I've ever had to actually like sit down and tell them how I feel. I, I think just me being in the room and them seeing what I go through and how I approach things and how I get through things. I think, I think they kind of learned on their own. Yeah. I know my, my two older children also, although they're both extremely different, 
they see things so much differently than other kids and other families do. Yeah. Um, you have very, very high, amazing times, and then you have very low times and, um, you know, nothing in between. Um, but Corona time, we're experiencing a lot of in between. Um, my 28 year old daughter who's quarantined with us just cut a Barbie doll's hair that she found in a box. So we're sort of losing our minds here. How are you guys doing? <laughs> um, my my daughter's a little more uh getting a little bit more crazier stir crazy than us but i think luckily i you know i have i'm working throughout the day so i think that's keeping uh you know keeping me busy but um you know my my son's keeping biz busy playing video games and he's a video editor and he shoots uh videos and he does also does photography so he keeps he's been keeping busy with that with like uh, um you know doing stuff around the house or working on projects and then he started redoing his room and that got a little crazy, but it looks really cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my, my wife spends a lot of her time uh, cleaning. She's been crazy cleaning. And also she does a lot of crafts and art. So we have, we have a, like an art room for her in the basement. She's just, she goes crazy in, in there. She loves it. It's amazing because we'll never get this time again like this. You know? No, we won't. Yeah. And we'll, we're going to look back on it one day and say, wow. What did I accomplish? You know, the be beginning, people get crazy and they want to do stuff. And then it sort of kind of peters out and just like, oh, my God, when is this going to be over? But I think we have to enjoy it as it's happening. We try the best we can without, you know, too much panic. Um, we were reading, you're a big baseball fan. You know, Perry is a huge Met fan. Um, we just interviewed Daryl Strawberry. Um, a nice. Week, and he was, he was awesome, what he's doing with his life now. And you're a Detroit Tigers fan still? I am a baseball fan, period. So, like, I love all baseball. Like, I'll watch any baseball team, any baseball game. Um, I had a couple of friends that played for the Detroit Tigers. They don't play anymore for the Tigers. But, um, so, uh, like, Curtis Granderson, you guys know Curtis Granderson. Well, he played for the Mets. So, I knew Curtis Granderson. I did his website back in the day. And, um, yeah, so, I'm, I'm a fan of all baseball. Like, one of my favorite teams is, uh, is the Los Angeles Dodgers. Yeah. Um, and um, so they're, they're one of my favorite teams but like mostly I'll watch any baseball game anytime so the Dodgers you know you have Turner Justin Turner yeah. which we had and we didn't really appreciate them and then when he went to the Dodgers and started just like being incredible we wanted to we were very upset with that yeah yeah that's what happens though so we're baseballists we bought a wooden baseball game that was spinning dice and moving people around the board <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> How you, you oh, watch man. old games or? I've been watching old games. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of old games. I've been, um, I play uh, PlayStation with my feet. Yeah. And so I've been playing, uh, it's called MLB The Show. And it's a, it's a Major League Baseball video game. So I, I play that a lot too. So but, you know, uh, that, yeah. Um, when you use a computer for work, how do you do, how do you do it? I use a regular mouse with the end of my arm here, and then I type with this arm. So everybody's like, oh, I got to see your equipment. I'm like, oh, it's nothing fancy. <laughs> Same thing you got. Yeah. Wow. So you've learned to adapt. Yeah, absolutely. And have the world adapt to you. You're, you have to adapt to the world. Um, I know. Yeah, Pat you know, yeah. A, a lot of times I'll, I'll hear people say, you know, online, I'm, I'm part of this, um, this Facebook group, and they're like, well, you know, we really need to have more, more things, to, you know, like accessible features and that's accessible things for people. But honestly, you give people, I mean, I, believe me, I'm all for accessibility. Don't get me wrong. But like, like, I think that's where I was able to learn how to adapt so much is when I was growing up, there wasn't even curbs cut. Like there wasn't even ramps and sidewalks back in the day. So I think like, I'm thankful for those times because I think it helped me adapt. And when there isn't something I can't, you know, something I can't do, I figure out a way to do it because if everything was easy for me, I'm, I don't know where I would be right now, you know? I might not have figured out how to use the computer at all. Who was your biggest advocate growing up? Was it a parent? Was it a relative? Oh, my, my mother. My mother would, uh, <laughs> my mother would, uh, <laughs> she would fight for me. She, she's still fighting for me. Um, definitely, definitely my biggest advocate, yeah. Um, my brother went to a Catholic school and uh, a private school and, and the nuns there said, uh, well, you know, we don't have the people here, the staff to help Ryan. And my mom's like, we, he goes to a regular school now. What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean you, you don't have the, the staff to help him? And um, so she, she fought and I'm like, I don't even want to go to a private school. Like, 
right. I, there's no girls there. Like, <laughs> you know? like I don't want to go to all boys school. So, um, you know, but my mom's always been fighting for me and she's, she's still fighting, fighting for me this day. Yeah, I do that a lot too. But I, I sure she taught you to fight for yourself, which is what I try to teach Perry. You know, yeah, you absolutely. Know, fighting. Um, one last question. I don't think everybody has not noticed the amazing sneaker connect collection behind you. Um, what size shoe are you? I am a 12C, which is a uh, it's preschool size. Yeah, so, so I get that's people are like, oh, you must have spent thousands and thousands of well, I probably spent thousands of dollars, but. They're a lot cheaper in my size. Like one of these shoes are like maybe eighty dollars, ninety dollars compared to like a men's shoe is like a hundred and eighty to two hundred and some dollars. So twelve C. And what kind of shoe do you yeah. like to collect? Like anything special mm -hmm. or just you know, I mean I don't even know. I collect Jordans and um uh Kanye has a shoe called they're called Yeezys. Uh I have some of his shoes. I but mostly mostly Jor Air Jordans. So you should uh, they should sponsor you or something. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. I wanna, so, one day I want to actually design my own shoe for them. That'd be, that'd be really cool. So if anybody's out there, maybe uh, listening and can help a guy out. You know, Ryan's looking for his size twelve C in an amazing shoe. <laughs> so here we have. Yeah, absolutely. It. Beautiful also. <laughs> Ryan, thank yeah. you so much for talking with us today. We really my pleasure. It's so nice to meet you. It's good nice to, to have meet you guys. Time. And um, enjoy uh, the rest of quarantine, even though you're working, which is probably keeping you sane. Um, yeah. And uh, we'll be following you, and we, we know you're going to keep doing great things, and I hope you follow Perry, too. Absolutely. For Thank sure. you. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks. Nice meeting you, Perry. Nice meeting you. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.